Brooklyn Greens residents are still scrambling for information about the gas leak. Methane is leaching from an old landfill site into nearby houses and there's a real risk of explosion. There's now a call for an urgent national inquiry into the safety of other urban dumps. If it can happen here, it can happen elsewhere in Australia. So we want total safety and security for all other families. Housing has been ruled out at this old tip in the Adelaide foothills where methane's been pumped off for the past 10 years. Experts warn methane may not be the only hazard at the Cranbourne site. Landfill gas it can be composed of a number of compounds and uh, some of those uh, can cause some um, human health concerns. Things like benzene and solvents that we use. Teresa Lapalia and her partner Peter say they've suffered headaches, tiredness, sore eyes and dizziness since moving in four months ago. I'm taking Panamax every day. I've taken three today already. This family opened their doors to potential buyers today, but no, it's a tough sell. No, we don't think anyone will come through. The developer, Pete Limited, has suspended sales at the estate. A class action for compensation is being pursued and the local council is assessing any liability. There was a, uh, uh, an agreement between council and the developer which enabled them to... Um, build up to the fence line um, once the tip was closed. A panel of landfill gas experts from the UK, Italy, Canada and the US will advise the EPA within two weeks about ways to fix the gas leak. The EPA first called in the experts a month ago. The Victorian Government will start its own investigation into the methane leak on Monday. Kelly Lazaro, ABC News, Melbourne.